Are you sure you want them to stay the night, Granny? Sai has a project that's due tomorrow that we were going to work on tonight. Jean, my grandmother, spoiled my kids to no end. I wasn't surprised, though, because she spoiled me too, even at my big age. My grandmother had been taking care of me since I was four. My mother wasn't ready to be a mother, so she gave me to my grandma. And my father was doing a life sentence for a murder charge. He called his mother, my granny, every day though, so we had as much of a relationship as we could. Okay, Lonnie, just bring the stuff he needs over here. I wouldn't be telling you they were staying if I wasn't sure, she fussed. Okay, okay, I'm just asking. You'll have them while I'm away for Brooke's wedding, so I don't want to overdo it. Bye, she snapped and disconnected the call. Laughing, I tossed the phone on the bed and got back to folding clothes. I was set to leave for Vegas in two days, so I wanted to make sure that everything was clean and in order before leaving. My OCD wouldn't let me go anywhere without everything in my house being cleaned. Miss Jean cooking? My best friend Celeste asked from the doorway with a bag of chips in her hand. She damn near lived with me because she was here every day. Celeste and I had met in middle school when her family moved to Crescent Point. Her father got a job with a local real estate company that paid more than his previous job in Colorado. So they'd moved here, and we had been thick as thieves ever since. I'd met our other friend, Brooke, the same year, in the summertime. But for whatever reason, she and Celeste stayed at each other's necks. Celeste swore Brooke was a hater and was using us. Brooke swore that Celeste just didn't want me to have other friends. I stayed out of their beef and remained neutral. I could tell that Brooke hadn't wanted to invite Celeste to her wedding, but she had to appease me.